Tonight on 12 News at 6, coronavirus is spreading across Arizona as the state anxiously awaits for a vaccine shipment to arrive. More people are catching the virus. The State Department of Health Services reported more than 8,000 new cases today, the second highest number in a single day since the start of the pandemic. Arizona's rate of transmission remains the highest in the nation, pushing hospitals in the state dangerously close to capacity. Health experts maintain that contact tracing is a vital tool to slow the spread, but Arizona's faced criticism with a lack of robust tracing. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with an epidemiologist leading a team of tracers in Tucson, contacting hundreds of COVID positive people a week. Hey there, in the last 10 days alone, epidemiologist Alexander Sheelan and her team have contacted 700 people across the state. Their team is made up of 330 paid and volunteer staff, many associated with the University of Arizona. The team working seven days a week and operates 100% remotely in a virtual call center. They work with state public health and the university to contact people who have been exposed to a known COVID positive person. One of the challenges, however, is getting people to pick up their phone or respond to an email when a tracer reaches out. Sheelan says COVID fatigue is a factor, but as cases erupt across the state, it's vital that people respond. So I think a lot of people are just getting really tired of social distancing and not seeing their friends and family, which is totally understandable. But now is the most critical time to keep up with all of those measures and to stay very vigilant. And at nine, we'll hear more from Shillin as we're less than two weeks away from even more holiday travel and gatherings that could lead to continued spread of the virus already overwhelming our health care system. In downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.